There are over 300 unique weapons in Borderlands 3 according to Gearbox and some are obviously better than others. I already highlighted some of my favorite weapons here on the channel but I have actually been using a ton of other guns since that last video so I wanted to showcase them right here and some have been changed thanks to the recent hotfix although luckily they are still pretty strong. So let's get into it. Would of course be awesome if you could leave a like on the video as it shows your support and let's go. One of my favorite assault rifles by far is the Shredifier that as the name suggests shreds the health of the enemies. I found this in Zendary variant at one point and if you use that against flesh then you will see the health bar go away in no time. Yes the fire rate is the standout here in combination with an amazing magazine and I even got the increased fire rate on this weapon to make it even more deadly in combination with the speed kills red text. It is a world drop just like all the items in this video apart from one so obtainable from any large boss, loot chest or loot tank. The sad part is though that I weirdly enough lost it because I don't have it in my inventory anymore but I don't know why I would drop it on the ground. I do still have a regular one that just says the speed kills. It is still powerful but just not the same. I will never lose this grenade because there's no reason to unequip it. It is a world drop and it's one of the best grenades in the game, the Murph Tackler Hex Grenade. Maybe you already found a Hex variant because there are many different ones but this Murph Tackler one really takes the crown. I would say though that every sort of variant on the hex grenade can be nice because you just throw it in the direction of the enemy and will then automatically home in on the target and with the Murph variant it also spawns 6 other grenades that all deal in my case shock damage so really easily destroy a shield. You just need to throw one or a few grenades on Mayhem 3 depending on the enemy and then you don't really need a shock weapon anymore. You just can focus on the armor or the health bars from the enemies. Okay yes this footage is from before the hotfix and if you play offline then this grenade is still like that but even when the hotfix is applied so with the 50% damage nerf and that it disappears faster it's still one of the strongest grenades in the game. Like with one throw you still destroy most of the shields sometimes you require two grenades though for the stronger enemies on mayhem 3 but overall it's just still a really nice item to have because of the insane aoe damage it can come in a corrosive type 2 that you then simply can use to melt armor from the targets but shields are more common so I totally prefer the shock variant. We got Brainy on Reddit who posted this recurring hex that splits into two grenades first and then spawns three Merv grenades. So then you still cover a ton of enemies, but it's slightly different than the one that I got. Overall, I think you want to at least have a Merv variant of this hex grenade. I mean, because you spawn multiple grenades, it's also great against regular groups of enemies that don't even have a shield. Also, when you need to kill the Rex in the Sinister of Slaughter map, for example, just throw a grenade in the air, it will find a target and then it will take it out of the sky. So yes, there are many variants, but not all will be as strong. So it will be very hard to get this specific grenade. And that's why I want to give this one away in this video. Just leave your PSN below in the pinned comment and I will pick one lucky winner after putting everything in the random number generator. Would of course be nice if you are a subscriber of the channel before you participate. I will announce the winner from my previous giveaways in an upcoming video and it's only on PS4 because I only play on PS4 so I can only send the item on PS4 sadly. Tony by the way won the infinity pistol during my recent giveaway. I will send you a friend request on the PS4 so I can then send you the gun so please accept it and the infinity pistol was by the way buffed recently too with 40 percent so it's now very very strong as well because you obviously don't have to reload and have infinite ammo at any time so yes totally fits this best weapons video too now on to one of the coolest looking weapons in the game that is pretty powerful too the laser sploder we got an incendiary version right here but really you can get one in every element except for normal and it's really a beast thanks to the damage over time from the laser that if you aim it on the crit spot of the enemy will really hurt 
them a lot. And then you want to make sure that you hit the extra explosives too. It's called the laser exploder for a reason. But yeah, you mostly want to use it against the element that it's strong against. Although it can do some pretty nice overall damage when in this case used against armor or a shield. Depending on the modifiers on the mayhem mode of course as well. Again, I like the look a lot too. It's just a really fun weapon to have and it's sadly a world drop so good luck getting it. Okay let's move on to a weapon that you can farm a specific enemy for. I actually saw this in a video from Killer6 that I will link to in the video description. It's a blue gun from the boss that I showed you in a previous video. That is part of this nice XP, legendary and iridium all in one farm spot over here in the Cathedral of the Twin Gods region. And if you are lucky, then you can get the Bone Shredder pistol that is totally on the same level as most of the legendary weapons because the damage is really, really good thanks to the number of bullets it shoots at the same time. Combine that with the Great Rate of Fire and it has a pretty decent magazine size too, although it will be empty in no time. It comes in multiple elements, including normal, I got one with the cryo and also with the normal bullets and it's surprisingly good against enemies with shields where normally on Mayhem 3 it's smart to use a shock weapon against the shield now you can still use this one to get to the health bar. I really like it, especially against the standard enemies as they go down pretty fast, but I could say the same about the badass enemies if you use for example the fade away ability from Flak. So it's already great to go and farm the balls, to get the chest and the iridium crystals that are nearby. This week we also get increased iridium, so it will be extra nice to do this run. Although if you play offline, then you will get more XP from this boss and you get quite a lot. But if you are not aware yet, then I will just share my video that tells you everything you need to know about this farm spot at the end of this video, so you can easily check it out. And again, be on the lookout for the blue weapons that this boss drops too, because it might include this bone shredder. During our recent weekly Borderlands stream, that is every Tuesday here on the channel, there was some debate regarding the best SMGs in the game. The Gutsman, I already highlighted in the previous video, is really really up there but i know that some people would argue that the crossroads is even better it's almost like a burst fire shotgun that shoots three projectiles per shot that do high damage making it very strong at close range although it can still function at a longer range as well it comes in multiple elements i for example got the cryo one while dennis is staring down shields and health bars with the shock variant i still prefer the cutsman myself for the overall longer range too but totally let me know what your take is in the comments down below i already did a giveaway for this next gun the linox cov pistol i just love these weapons and this might be the best variant there is although just like the bone shredder you have to reload or in this case repair it very very often but if you are able to hit the health bar with these fire bullets then there will be nothing left of the enemy like for humanoid enemies it really doesn't matter if they are a badass or even stronger the health goes down before you know it it also has the increased melee as you expect from these pistols and I got it with some extra fire rate. So while you shoot 4 bullets at the same time it only costs a 3 and these bullets by the way bounce too when you shoot against the wall for example. It's a nice extra touch. It's totally one of my favorite weapons in the game and they even recently buffed it with the recent hotfix increasing the damage by 20%. But yeah the only downside is that it eats bullets like it's nothing. Let's stick with a another incendiary weapon and move to the long musket, better known as the Elon Musk gun, that is an SMG flamethrower that literally melts the enemies when you stand close enough, thanks to the fire damage that stacks up quickly. Yes, because of the flames, the range is not that long, but when you are able to hit the enemy, it's a very powerful gun. The TDR effect slightly makes up for the limited range, because when you reload it, you will have this gun with legs appear that will then go after the enemy. What are the weapons that you use the most, that you like the most? Totally let me know in the comments down below. I'm curious if it's one of the weapons.
weapons that we haven't highlighted yet. Again, giveaway for that insane grenade by putting your PSN down in the pinned comments. And totally subscribe for everything Borderlands 3 if you haven't already. I will keep you up to date on all the news, updates, and way, way more. Like the video to support the channel and check out that legendary farm tactic for Iridium and that gun by clicking on the screen. Or I will link to it at the end of our golden chest opening that we always like to do at the end of a Borderlands 3 video. Yo Dennis, you know what the best thing about blue weapons is that are actually good? Tell me. <laughs> that they will likely not get nerfed. They made it Don't... very clear that they are focusing on legendary weapons. <laughs> So uh, oh, they they might they might listen to this and they might yeah, think, mm, that's okay. a good idea. Okay, I will I will switch this <laughs> weapon. Just open the chest. Speaking of blue weapons, I hope that there is no blue weapons in here. I made some blue orbs. Uh not only purple, but still you are really on a streak by the way. This is like your fifth yeah. purple. It's insane. This is this is me paying for all the legends. <laughs> and there you go. Yeah, oh, it's actually a weapon. Huh? The Which recursion. One is it? Hmm. Okay. I think I've seen that one before. I'm what does it do? Either. Whoa, it's oh. a bouncing. Looks flashy. Yeah, it looks pretty cool, but uh No, I never saw this one too. This is really one of the weapons I feel they're gonna buff at some point because I've never heard anyone talk about it and it doesn't look that great. Let's look at the card. I don't know quick. what the damage is like, but yeah. It is pretty good. Like, not that good. here you see. Uh, oh. Hmm. Oh, wait. I remember the description. It's a funny one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I think I did see this one before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I just never used it, I think. Subscribe for everything Borderlands 3, a like the video to support the channel and totally check out the previous video on some awesome things that are coming to the game, including new events that will kick off this Tuesday. For now, we will speak to you next time and goodbye.